Welcome back to EKG. And this is EJX. And this is Cloudy. And this is uh, Red Dead The Two. story of a girl. Wait, where'd that guy go? Anytime you go, this is, and you like pause, my brain just goes, <gasps> The story of a girl who got her favorite vagina on the world. Hello, she looks so happy in photographs. I'm looking for my friend. Die. Every time Die. I do, it makes me laugh. <laughs> How did I get so red? That's too what the hell is on Jewish? It's drawn to take you on. It's drawn to take on anyone. What are you weird out? Oh, you belong. And this is not where you belong. I don't know what's worse, this oh, or the you distance constantly singing. To find where I belong. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I just went from the story of a girl to Hercules. What's <laughs> fucking up? Four <laughs> degrees, baby. Mm. It's actually really fun to try to do. Just sing the last word and continue a different song's oh. lyrics. Wait, what's happening? That guy's down. Oh, wait. They're telling you. They're shooting at you now? Oh, I'm fuck? about to last this, dude. Fucking Wonder Woman. You know it. How is the guy alive in Wonder Woman 86? That's what I really want to know. Why See, like, is Steve Trevor not... fucking exploded? Is he like in her head? Why can't? Okay, apparently I can't Show kill this guy. This. I wouldn't hang out by me. Crazy on the hunt. No, come back. Why can't I? Apparently he's untouchable. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, right. my, oh my god, oh. I was really hoping you were gonna go. <laughs> I saw that coming. I was like, oh, he's gonna do it. <laughs> I was just like, don't fruit cause dominos. That would have been really bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Yo, Sorry, bud. Yo, bad. I'm bad. I'm really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. Something, dum, 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 dum. I just, I, I could never get Weird Al's fat out of my head anytime I hear that song. I, you know? I really can't either. Like, I think that's one of my favorite ones, and it's so dumb, too. It's so good, though. Your body's wide, but mine is too. And, it, like, it's, he just does it so, like, well, too. Shit, I'm gonna sit on you. Come on. Uh, did I tell you, so, remember Has Been Hotel, I sent you that? Yeah. Uh, hey, the look, the creator, you know who's their dream voice actor to play Satan in that show? Who? Weird Al. That would be legendary. That would be fucking, could you imagine if they pulled that? Put all the budget into that. I don't care if it's just stick figures. I feel like Weird Al, oh? Yo, he's done, like, epic rap battles and shit. Oh, yeah, I feel like he wouldn't be, like, a crazy git. Yeah, no, he's he seems like such a chill dude. Oh yeah, he, no, he's awesome. I love his rap battle too. It's uh, Isaac Newton versus uh, Bill Nye, and then Bill Nye brings in uh, what's his name, the uh, as he calls himself the uh, scientific black guy. Oh, uh, Neil, Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Neil deGrasse comes in and helps uh, Bill Nye because yeah, you're a little undergunned in that fucking hey, uh, department. <laughs> yeah, Bill right. Nye, not bad, not bad, not bad dude, but. Isaac Newton, mm -hmm. he's a fucking little smart. <laughs> well, I don't think they're trying to say that. No, that's that's the debate. <laughs> Epic Rap Battles is really asking the questions. It is. Yeah, no, Weird Al's the man. I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he was born in Wisconsin, but I know his parents lived in Wisconsin. I mean, they died in Wisconsin. Oh, no, wait, no, he was performing in Wisconsin. That's right. So, what, do you know about how his parents died? No. They, like, uh, were, I don't know where they live, but um, he was, like, in Appleton, Wisconsin, uh, like uh, for a concert and he heard that his parents like died in their house It was like a co2 leak in their house and they both just like had co2 poisoning and died like in their sleep Excuse And then like weird Al like found out and then still went on and did the concert like in Appleton that night and like put on like a hell of a show What a fucking G right what a legend it, I, Like I feel like for a lot of artists you can go out there and perform your music with that like pain that suffering but man that's got to be hard for a comedic musician. Yeah, well, like, I, I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along the lines of, like, just, you know, kind of just, like, laugh the pain away. Yeah, I guess. But, but still, though, it's like... It's hard to be up there being, like, think about your mom and dad being dead, and you're just like, your buddy's Well, like, I'm pretty sure he, like, told the crowd. So, like, I mean, the crowd was, like, with him. So, like, I feel like if... You can kind of just like match that energy, yeah, but again, oh, no, I'm not saying it'd be easy. I'm just saying that was that's fucking hard. Oh yeah, because like I get it. You like you get him behind you and you're playing like this big emotional fucking like Cole Coldplay could put on a concert after the parents died because everyone's gonna be weeping because <laughs> their songs are meant for that. Like that's 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 what they do anyway. Yeah, see, I feel like that'd be worse though. 
Because I feel like if you're super sad and then you have to like perform a concert singing even super or sadder songs, I feel like that's just gonna like exemplify it. When you're sad, well, see that's the thing. When you're sad, do you like listen to sad music or do you listen to like? We are number one. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of depends. It depends. Sometimes that. See, I always do the like. I listen to. I like. I like the music that fit my mood. So I think. I mean, I, I do too, but sometimes if I'm like, okay, like I, I gotta try to break out of it. Well, who is this guy, by the way? Who the fuck are we talking to? Okay, so. Uh, Fucking Dutch's new scheme is there's these two opposing families that are both like fucking corrupt and they're running like these towns in the area and they have like a fucking feud going on. So now we're trying to like play both sides. So we always come in on top and we're going to try to like rob them in the process of trying to help them. And then once we get enough money, like we'll break free and go like retire. Hey, Duchess, you know what's not going to work? That. That. Because if <laughs> anyone talks to anyone, your plan is fucked. Exactly. And, like, it's already a small town. And, like, people already kind of know who we are. Yeah, that is a tip. If, this were, if these towns were, like, an hour horse ride apart. Yeah, that'd be a little different. Barely, because there's still trade Barely, routes. Barely, yeah, yeah. Because People are still making that trip every day. Yeah, yeah, there's still people making that trip. And there ain't fucking planes. <laughs> so you can't get large... That plan's never gonna work. No. That's... A terrible plan, Dutchess. Well, Dutch isn't the greatest leader. Yeah, I, I, I barely paid attention throughout the entirety of this series. I don't know if that's obvious by. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> the fucking weird bullshit we talk about when this fucking game is on screen. I mean, it makes for good conversation. Yeah. Um, but I even I know Dutchess is a fucking idiot. Oh yeah, and like, it's kind of a gripe for, with the game for me. Like, I get he's supposed to be like the antagonist to an extent. But, I mean, he's not the anti, like, obviously there's bigger ones, but he's kind of like an anti, not even an anti-hero. He's, I don't even know what he's supposed to be. Like, Fun you're facts. not, like, you're supposed to like him, but you're not supposed to like him. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Who's the first character that comes to mind when you think of an anti-hero? Go. Um. <sighs> I know who you're going to say. Who am I going to say? Punisher. That's what everyone says. That wasn't my first thought, but I, I was thinking, oh my, oh. what's happening? You're, what? You're dying. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to secretly do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm barely paying attention to you now. <laughs> uh, Punisher wasn't the first one that came to mind. That's what a lot of people think, but he's not even an anti-hero. No, I was just trying to... I was just thinking in general, general like, yep. just kind of people who... Do unhero... It's a, basically, you know, it's, it's kind of the line of killing people, but killing people and trying to do something right. It's, yeah, doing bad things for a good reason. It's... Unheroic actions for uh for a just cause or doing unjust things for a heroic cause. Yeah, yeah. Those are basically like, or like not embodying what a hero embodies, but still doing the right thing. You know, like Deadpool. Yeah. It depends. Deadpool can be written as like a fucking all over the place. So yeah, that could hard. go either way. Um, Batman is kind of an anti-hero in a way. A lot of times he's written, but also we don't think of Batman like that because Batman's not killing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Punisher though, like. He does everything for a selfish reason of revenge. Yeah. And he kills the fuck out of people. Oh, yeah. It's super. No mercy. He's a villain. He's a bad guy. Yeah. Like, don't be wrong. He kills bad people. So, yay. <laughs> he's just a sympathetic bad guy. Yep. I'm sorry. that like, Because he's uh, that 90s anti-hero. People think Wolverine is an anti-hero. But, like, why? Because he's gruff and rough. A lot of, like, yeah, he'll kill people. A lot of his solo runs. But when he's with the X-Men, he's more just like a, like a, angry hero. Yeah, exactly. Captain America in the Civil War movie, uh, not Civil War, yeah, Civil War and Winter Soldier, he's an anti-hero in those movies because he's kind of going against the established, but but again, is he, see, that's, I watched this whole video explaining how like anti-heroes are basically what, like it depends. It oh, literally, yeah. like, it depends on your opinion of things. Well, it's like, what's your definition of a hero and what's the antithesis of that? Because that's what an anti-hero is. It's not really a character archetype because it can't be it's not a definable it's really hard to define what actually falls into anti-hero and i definitely think punisher is not one yeah yeah um, jessica on, jones oh god jessica jones is a good example um because she kind of don't know her too well well in the show she's like you know beats the shit out of people she's she drinks she's swearing all the time <laughs> so drinking well, makes you an I mean, anti-hero i mean like she's like like an alcoholic drinking like, oh yeah she's yeah. like a fucking mess <laughs> and she like 
it's kind of shitty to the people around her, but at the end of the day, she does the right, like, she does heroic things. So it's like she's a force of good, but, like, in her personal life, kind of pile of garbage. We're going to go talk to this lady. Yep, I'm delivering, because, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this, uh... Uh, one of the sons in the one family that's feuding is in love with one of the daughters in the wi- rival family. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Got yeah. it. So I'm delivering a love letter. Why is he in love with her? There's flies around yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't look like she's showered in like a week. Do they have showers? Yeah, they definitely do. These people are rich. They're like, they're plantation owners. Oh. Do they, well, I was saying in this time period. Or is yeah, no, like they, no, they do. Yes, he's really? rich people do. They have running water? So oh, no, it's just baths. Yeah, I was saying, it's a yeah. it's, it's like a nice bath. That's but, like, they have, like, gold well, fucking baths. Yeah, let me draw you a bath. Yeah. Bow's different. Got baths are disgusting. But when did showers out, get invented? They'll kill him I feel like and send me to not that awful. recently. Ohio. So you think it was like, so like it was, no, I feel like it was semi recent. I want to say no. like 1920. Well, I, my uncle has that a seems too, there. I don't know. That doesn't, sort of because they, I would look it up, but I don't, my phone's fucking left. trapped in your car. <laughs> they had to have had showers in like World War II. Yeah, yeah, no, they, 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 I'm saying, I think it's farther back. Oh, you think it's farther? Are, yeah, because running water cannot be else. that. Oh, no, I said that, I said the back. I'm pretty sure it was, and I had to at least have been like 18, like late 1800s during the gold rush, because I've seen plenty of Westerns where. Station. Like uh, miners and like diggers, like workers after work, like they all stand around like a huge like communal shower and just like dump water on their heads. Yeah, like that. Like they're pretty menial. Like they were manual. Like you had to hold down a lever for the water to come out, but like it's still a shower. Yeah. I mean, when did like the pressurized shower come to be? That yeah, that'd be a better question. That's I would look it up, but I don't have a thing. So uh. What are we talking about? <laughs> Can't even Does anyone even care about showers? Yeah, honestly. I mean, I appreciate that they exist. Oh, I appreciate them. I love them. Are you someone who can, like, get away with not showering for a day? If oh, you need God, to? no. Yeah, do no. you know how much I sweat? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> like, I, dude, if I don't shower, like, I have to just be a potato that day. Like, oh, yeah. If I'm not showering, I'm not going anywhere. Also, are you a person who showers right when you wake up, or are you a uh, shower before you got to go somewhere type person? Um, well, for work, usually I'll shower, like, right before I go well, to bed. That Oh, you shower before you go to bed? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. But, so then, but other than that, yeah, I'll jump out of bed and shower and go to work. But then on the weekends, like, I'll wake up and then, like, eat breakfast and just kind of hang around until, like, I got to do shit and then and that's, shower. That was, that, was, that was my question. On a day where, you're, like, you don't have to go to, like, work in the morning where it's, like, you're more like, hey, at 3 o'clock I have to do this. Do you still wake up and shower or do you, like, bum around until, like, 2 and then shower. Yeah, yeah, I'll usually buy. If I don't have shit going on, I'll bum her own. Yeah, you know me. I'm definitely the latter because I like, we'll be like, all right, we're recording at three. It's 2.50. I'm like, yeah, I haven't hopped in the shower yet. <laughs> it's fucking whatever. Yeah, but, no, I know that all too well. What fucking, you were, we were both like, who cares about showers? So then I just went head first into the shower thing. <laughs> You know, it, they say... I mean, it, someone might care about our shower Out of routines. the bath, into the shower pan. <laughs> oh, my goose. And you can see if that goose is loose next time. Ooh, That's the, yeah. the worst fucking... 